16. Useful plants to survive the wilderness. Number 16. Cattails. Hopefully there won't come a day when you're stranded in the wilderness on your own. But American Eye likes to stay one step ahead of the game just to keep you ready. Cattails are a wild growing plant found in many regions of North America and were often used as a food source by Native Americans. They're commonly found in freshwater wetlands and the stalks are edible and taste similar to corn. Cattails are fairly easy to recognize with the brown cigar shaped head. Most of the cattail is edible but you normally want to choose younger stalks and eat the bottom where it's white. Three leaf clovers. Consider yourself lucky if you find a large patch of clovers growing in a field if you're searching for food. Clovers grow in many different environments as long as the water is there to let them grow. You'll need a large amount for them to get you full, but this certainly is possible. Before you start chowing down on handfuls of clovers, consider boiling them to improve the taste. Number 14. Bamboo Bamboo is commonly found in tropical regions and due to its wide variety of uses, it can help you survive the wilderness. If you find some bamboo available, consider using the sturdy stalks to construct a shelter or even a bed to lift you off the insect covered floor. Bamboo is quite sturdy and it won't break easily under pressure. Consider collecting a large amount when you are trapped in a jungle somewhere and the stalks can make for a great spear for hunting or fishing. Eating bamboo is also possible, especially for the panda bear, but some species of bamboo contain a large amount of poisonous compounds like cyanide. We're sure you'll find plenty of purposes for using it besides eating it. Number 13. Green Seaweed Somehow if you end up stranded on a deserted island completely surrounded by ocean, the ocean should be the first place to look for food. Don't be afraid to try eating some of the green seaweed that you'll pretty much find everywhere around you. This can be particularly tasty if boiled or in a combination with fish. Number 12. Kelp Kelp is a nutrient-rich seaweed or a type of algae that's edible, and if it's available, you should certainly consider eating it. It's found its way into modern-day salads, but it grows along rocky shorelines of the Pacific coast from Alaska all the way down to Baja, California. It's been hailed as a superfood by some, and it's a great source of vitamin K, folate, and fiber. Number 11. Chicory Chicory is a plant that naturally grows in Europe, North America, and Australia. While it might not look extremely appetizing, finding this plant can cure your hunger if you're craving a leafy snack. Not only will it do that, but it also has several amazing health benefits. This has made it sought after by foragers. The entire plant is edible from the flowers all the way down to the roots, and the roots taste quite good after boiling them. Chicory can aid in digestive issues, is a good source of fiber, can boost your immune system, and even reduce your anxiety. Number 10. Aloe Vera While you're roughing it out in the wilderness, something that might be extremely annoying is all those bugs out there biting you and the sunburns. Being able to soothe that pain can certainly become an advantage mentally while you're trying to rough it out. Aloe vera is often found growing wildly in tropical climates. After cutting into the leaves of the aloe vera, the gel is found to work quite well on sunburns and might save your skin while you're resisting the elements. It can also be used in shampoo, as a laxative, a mouthwash, and relieve heartburn. Just be careful of the prickly pines. Number 9. Dandelions Normally when you come across this plant, you would consider it to be an invasive weed on your lawn. However, these can become useful as a mild appetite suppressant and they have similar qualities to chicory that we previously mentioned. It's normally suggested to boil the plants and make a tea out of it, rather than eating it raw. Every part of the dandelion is rich in antioxidants, but when collecting them, be sure that it's free of pesticides and fertilizers. It's best not to collect them when they're growing on the side of a street or on the sidewalk. Number 8. Blackberries We highly suggest not eating just any berry you come into contact with. Many can be poisonous, but if you're able to spot the right ones, go ahead and have yourself an all-you-can-eat buffet. Wild blackberry plants are a tasty fruit, but examine the flower carefully. Flower on the plant should have five white petals, like we see in this photo. The ripe ones have a deep purple color and will be sweeter in comparison to the red ones. Don't mistake the red ones for raspberries because they're not. Feel free to eat the leaves as well and turn them into a tea with boiling water, which can be used as a mouthwash. Number 7. Wild Blueberries Blueberries are a food that are high in antioxidants and finding a large enough batch of these could lead to your ultimate survival. These can be found in the northern United States such as Maine and also in the Lac St. Jean region of Quebec. Other coastal areas such as British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest may contain wild blueberries as well. However, you must approach with caution and not mistake these for elderberries or belladonna which are extremely poisonous. The best way to make sure it's safe is by finding the little five-pointed crown on the top of the blueberry. Number 6. Wild Ginger 
There's a very good chance that while you're attempting to survive the wilderness on your own, you will end up hurting yourself and end up with some type of infection. In this case, there are plants out there that have antibiotic qualities that could save you from having to amputate your limb. While ginger might be tough to find, but the roots have amazing effects and have been shown to be effective against staph infections and cure headaches. It can be identified with two arrow-shaped leaves and in springtime, a flower will grow between the stem like we see in this photo. Number 5. Prickly Pear Being stranded in the middle of the desert with barely any water can prove to be a death sentence for many people. But before you give up and die of dehydration, do your best to search for the prickly pear fruit, which is most commonly found in American deserts in Mexico and the United States. These fruits grow on cactus and will provide you with precious juice that might save your life. These grow on the Nopales cactus that you see here, and is described as tasting like pink bubblegum and watermelon combined. Careful though, they are prickly. Here you see a guy properly remove a prickly pear from the cactus and hopefully you have a knife to cut it open. Number 4. Desert Water Trees if you do find yourself in the desert and are on the verge of dehydration, just spotting certain plants can be extremely important for your survival. These plants are impossible to grow without some type of water source, and if you see them nearby, start digging and pray. This one is known as the desert fan palm and are notable for their extra leaves that grow underneath the top set. This also includes cottonwoods and willows. Consider yourself lucky if you find these or else you might have to take your chances and eat a scorpion. Just kidding, don't do that. Number 3. Coconuts if you find yourself trapped on a deserted island, one of the best plants you can find here that will aid your survival is the coconut tree. Coconuts will provide you with a great source of protein and fatty oils that will keep you alive. Not only that, but inside the coconut you'll find sterile water or coconut milk which will hydrate you and give you energy. After you've eaten the coconut meat, the coconut shell could prove to be useful in capturing rainwater. Consider counting the number of coconuts on a tree and be ready to hack it open once you see it fall. Also, be careful not to eat too much or it may cause digestive problems. And ladies, don't forget, you can always use the shells for a makeshift bra as well. Number 2. Fireweed This plant is mainly found in the Northern Hemisphere and has been used by many different Native American tribes for various reasons. Not only is it high in vitamin A and C, the flowers have an interesting peppery taste to them which can be added to other food like meat to make it taste like that. The leaves might be a little bit bitter, but the stalk is high in nutrients and is also said to help with pus filled wounds by placing the stem on the infected area. And number 1. Bananas If monkeys can survive off this tropical fruit, reimagine you can too. Bananas will give your body the energy it needs to go out and hunt some prey. They'll provide your muscles with the potassium that they need in order to keep them from cramping. Bananas can be sporadically throughout jungles, but you must be careful not to eat them until they are ripe and don't contain seeds. Green is mean when it comes to bananas, but feel free to cut them down and allow them to ripe under your careful watch, because you may have some jungle animals trying to snatch your bananas, so watch out. 